Hi, I'm Mr. Worden, and I am the advisor for your book. You're checking this video out, I think, because you're considering joining the yearbook and you're an intro to journalism and you want a little bit of a taste of how it works. So today we are going to look at Yearbook Avenue, which is the software that we use to build the yearbook. And I'm gonna walk you through the basics of importing photos and creating designs in our little portrait pages, which is the project that I think you guys will be tackling for us. And that should give you a sense of a little bit of what we do at Yearbook. If you take all these skills and then you just expand it out across 140 pages or so, then you've got a good sense of what your book is like. All right, so let's take a look. Yearbookavenue.jostens.com. Um, in here, you've got your login information. 2021 is the year. Whatever year you're watching this is the year that you put in. The job number is always 6328. Then your, your pa username will be your full email address. And the password is yearbook with a capital Y, 21 if you're doing it for the 2021 yearbook, which we are this year. But if you're watching it next year, it'll probably be 2022. All right, sorry, yearbook 22. So I've got that auto put in, so I'm just gonna jump right in there. When you get to Yearbook Avenue, you've got all kinds of stuff. I have more options than you do because I am the advisor, so it opens more stuff up for me. But what you wanna do is go to Create, and then Page Ladder. And then it, the Page Ladder shows you all the pages that we have. If you want to, you can always just find your page just by scrolling around. You can see which ones are done, which ones are not. Um, but you can also filter by staff and stuff like that. So if you want to find your name, let's say we're Braden. That shows Braden's page. So congratulations, Braden. You've got a page. Woohoo! Here's your book avenue. The template is already set and ready for us to put in our portraits, which we'll do pretty soon, I think. Your job is gonna to be to fill in this section here with your human interest story. Here's some basic stuff with your book avenue. Your zoom is over here on the right. You can zoom in a little bit. For the most part, I would say probably fill up the space with your, uh, with your section. You can see there's little grids laid out to help you kind of organize your, your um, materials. And Depending on what you click on, the menu up along this top side will change. It's context sensitive. You don't really need to mess with designs, although there may be, if you go to my designs, my click and go, we have some basic stuff there um, that we can put in. For instance, Lil Photos. Um, that's a basic kind of click and go. We're gonna, we'll, I'll add some more to those before you guys start messing with this. Um, this one's a little bit small, but we had some basic ideas for that. And you can just uh, hit delete to get rid of it. Or you could drag this one in, and there we go. And you can also just build it from scratch. So let's look at that. Anytime, if you've got images, here's how you bring in images. It says drag and drop here or upload, you click on that. Click on the Google Drive and you can find where your pictures are. I'm just gonna click upload images because I'm doing it from my Mac. And let's just pick some random stuff. Um, we'll do one of this, let's soccer. Okay, here's some pictures. Now I'm uploading those. I'm gonna go to image library now. Leave the site. This is where we organize our, our photos. And I'm gonna make inside student life no, we're not going to do it in student life. I'm going to make a whole new thing just for you guys. Call it a standard folder, portrait stories. These are the stories that are going into the portrait pages. You can open that up and then inside it, you can make one just for your name so that you know you've got your, folder, your stuff going right in there. So, um, Bobby Smith. Then there's a little drop down, Bobby Smith. Now, if you go back to uh, Page Ladder, all right, I should, probably should have put in Braden's name, but whatever. Um, let's say Braden's really Bobby. <laughs> uh, if I want to upload pictures, now that I've done that, I can say, I'm going to go, what have I got in Portrait Stories, Bobby Smith? Nothing. Now I upload, and they go straight there. 
You can also upload just by going to the image library, opening that folder up, and then hitting the upload button. You want to keep your pictures fairly high res, that way that they um, don't look pixelated. Yearbook Avenue will not let you uh, increase the size of a photo to the point where it'll look pixelated though, so that does kind of save you some trouble. If I've got all these photos, and I can just bring them in as I want. So let's say, oh, I've already got, let's just take some of these. Drag it in. Pretty simple, right? Try to organize, um, keep things in parallel lines, filling up the space that you want, and you can resize. When you click on the photo, you get various um, tools here. You can adjust the exposure with a snap edit, format and effects. You can change the size of the frame, that kind of thing, text wrapping, various kind of choices you can make. So we would put a picture in here. Let's say you wanted to have a caption under there. We'd go to text. We have various styles that you can bring right in. So for caption, caption one. Drag that in, and we've got a little text box. And then in my design, I would make sure that the caption starts kind of at the edge of one side and goes right to the other one. And then looking at this, I actually probably need to make this a little bit bigger so it's going right to those grid lines. That makes it easier to design what I'm doing. Then caption one. I would have gotten a quote from her. I love to ride. It really clears my mind. And then just put student, well, Savannah. I hope I'm spelling your right name right. And the year. Then I have, I have my attribution there. Now, here's one thing that you do need to, to play with. Um, pardon my, I need to zoom in a little bit more. My old eyes don't see very well. <laughs> ah, there we go. A bridle. That's supposed to be a semicolon. Um, when you have these taglines, up here, you have your font choices. Never mess with the direct fonts because we always want to use the fonts that are specified for our yearbook. So I would go to caption, and instead of caption, I'm going to call that tagline because that's a tagline. So we've got the caption is there, and then the tagline says who said it. Um, you would also probably want to put in another tagline somewhere in the photo. Photo by Sam Rudin. I did shoot this one, so I give myself credit. Um, and then find an easy place to kind of put that. You can change the color of the font if you want to make it stand out better. Let's keep trying. What you can't do is change the size, because that's part of our styles, is having the size correct. So looking at this, it's kind of dark down here. If I select all that, I go to colors. These are the colors that are available for our page. Generally with, with text, I'm just sticking with black or white. If it's a big title, then you can, you can use more colors and stuff. But for captions and taglines and stuff like that, just stick with black or white. Now I'm going to zoom back out so I can see a little bit better what that looks like. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this little, little control there and flip it 90 degrees. That seems to fit in a little bit better there. I can read it, it's fine, and we've got our, our caption there. You always want to tag all the people in your pictures, that way they show up in the index. And also it gives us credit for putting everybody in. We're supposed to have everybody in the yearbook three times. There's not, that's not going to happen this year. But we still try our best to make it happen. Um, so to tag a name, right click on it, tag names. Then. This one has already been tagged and knows who she is. It looks like I spelled her name right too. Good, good job, Warden. But if her name's not there, you can like, let's say we want to tag the horse. Just click on it and then you can start to put in a name. There's all this stuff auto populates. So if you're like, it's Fred. We don't have a Fred, but we have lots of Fredericks. So that'll bring that in from, right from Infinite Campus, okay? If you accidentally put a box somewhere, just click this little thing. If you've got a group picture with a bunch of people in it, you want to tag every single face, Click this thing, 
And then you just enter a bunch of names separated by commas. That can be faster than trying to like put a box on every face and put a thing on it. You always want to save before you leave because it doesn't save automatically. The save is this thing that looks like a three and a half inch floppy disk. If you know what that is, congratulations. It instantly registers for somebody of my generation. It might not for yours. You can also hit file, save. Once the page is done, let's say I'm done with this, you would want to run a, some checks on it, this little guy right here. So I click down at the bottom to open up this, um, this menu. And then I click here with the spell check, proof PDF, all that kind of stuff. Once you've done that, you can mark it as complete and then I'll check it, make sure it looks good. If I need to proofread it, I'll either send it back to you to fix something, or if it's just a little bit of grammar, I'll just fix it myself, and then I'll submit it to Johnston's. Those are the basics. Um, I didn't talk about really design kind of choices because that's probably something for a whole new video. This is just how you can do things in Yearbook Avenue. And in general, check those click and goes first to see if there's a template that you can just throw right in there. Make sure it's my click and go, not uh, 2020, because then if it's 2020, it's not gonna look like us. That was last year. Um, so designs, my click and go, because you got choices. There's my 2020 templates, my 2020 click and go, practice pages, my click and go. Um, right now there's nothing particularly interesting in there, but I will work on that a little bit and get some stuff for you guys to do. All right, good luck. And if you guys run into trouble, I'll see if I can make a, a second tutorial that focuses on the issues you're having. So keep track of things that you're getting stuck on, okay? Have fun.